All right, so what moves the neuronal needle? What are the things we can do to impact the development of this brain network? You know, what are the things that, that help kids to stay on track? And this is a model that we sort of put together um, looking at um, what's called that home literacy environment, you know, uh, uh, things in the home that can help kids uh, learn how to read. So they, they divide into two main categories. One is quantity of, of things, you know, number of, number of books in the home, how often children are read to, their reading routines, and then quality. That's probably a little bit harder to teach and it's harder to study too. Things like the format of the story, is the child interested? How interactive is the reading? Um, you know, are there lots of questions or, or is it just kind of monotone? And then screen time up top, you know, something that may kind of get in the way. So these are the different boxes we look at, you know, what are the things we can do to, to impact a child's uh, brain development and reading skills based in the home. 